Tori here, and I just wanted to talk really quickly. I had something in my mind, and I know that when I, I get these different thoughts in my head, that it's for a reason. And I said I'm going to come on more and share more of these like random just life thoughts with you guys because I have found in my life that they're so important and they carry so much weight and they have been like game changing things for me. And so I just wanted to come on really quickly and ask you as we go into this new challenge, this uh, 14 days of radical self love, I wanted to ask you what the success look like to you. One of the things that I see often, we probably all do, is a picture of success that the masses have created. This idea that you have to look like Kim Kardashian and you gotta have Kylie Jenner's money and you gotta hustle like Gary Vee to make it, right? Um, it's this ongoing theme of here's the standard and you gotta make it or else you're unworthy. And as I, and it's funny too, cause I've watched like how all of them recently, and, and let me just really quickly, I have a brief history with the Kardashians. Um, not like I'm some mega, you know, whatever deal or something, but um, back before Keeping Up With The Kardashians aired, I was out at, um, the AMAs, I had been invited, it was my second event that I had been invited to. The Steve Harvey, Harvey Hoodie Awards was the first one, and then I was invited out to the AMAs. And so, someone told me, I mean, and so, there I was backstage, <laughs> messages are coming in. I try to turn these things off and they come in anyway. <laughs> so there I was um, at the swag room, uh, you know, penthouse at the standard of downtown LA, and um chloe walks in and it was like one of those like wow moments like she looked like, like a bag of money like in real life it was like wow <laughs> she like sucked the air out of the room it was crazy keep in mind this was before kardashian the show okay and she came in and she had this whole energy and we vibed and um she loved my bling she took pictures she placed order with me and so you know we got to build a, a working relationship for a, a while right fast forward you know all these about six months later it could have been a little bit sooner four to six months later this is over 10 years ago y'all <laughs> but four to six months later um here they are they've got this major show they're this major uh shift in 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 our world as we know it right they are like this ideal of perfection for a lot of people and let's just be real we can all sit and say oh whatever i don't think the kardashians are let's let's call it what it is kim killed the social media game she killed it slayed that shit okay <laughs> in a way that i don't think i can't think of anyone that's done that since her except maybe kylie right so a couple months later, the show comes out. Boom, there I am. I've got these amazing photos with her. It's funny, I hadn't done anything with these pictures yet. Nothing, they were just sitting because at the time, Kim was Paris's sidekick. She was Paris's assistant. So at the time, you know, there was nothing to do with the pictures of Chloe, you know, who cared, right? But she was dope, she was fun to meet. Um, she was humble down to earth. She came right in. She was like, boom, with the phone, just pow, pow, posing. It was so cute. Great pictures. And then all of a sudden, Keeping Up With The Kardashians comes out. So boom, here they are. I used that influence to um, grow my business. Here I was, girl, the design, the bling for the Kardashians, for Chloe. Um, I know that Kim has had work done by other people, but Chloe was my client. And so, um, Fast forward now to this time where, um, so that's my little brief history and, and time with the Kardashians, right? Um, being able to have that moment in time to catapult my business, to, to use what I learned, which were so many things, to use what I learned and figure out how to apply what I learned from having her as a client, from having just that one perfect picture, right? Out of all of them, it was just one perfect shot and 
now I could use this in my business. Now I could figure out, it's all about what happens in the background. Everybody sees what happens on the outside, but I'm telling y'all, when you can figure out the things that are happening on the inside and how to apply that, it's game changing. And so I just use that strategy over and over in every single one of the brands that I've uh, built. And, and even with the built brands that I help others build, right? So I took that um, and now all these years later, I look back and think about just how mega these girls have become. I'm talking multimillionaires on the highest scale from influence, okay? And that influence has carried over into the way the world, the world globally sees success, the way the world sees themselves. And so bringing, me, bringing that back and pulling that together, it makes me think about how women measure success today. How do you measure success? Does it look like a Kardashian? Because they're like all starting to morph <laughs> into looking like the same person. I swear I was looking at a picture of Chloe the other day and as I scrolled, it was more than one picture. By the time it ended, I thought I was looking at Kylie, but I wasn't. It was actually, I went back like four times, legit, no true story. And <laughs> it looked like Kylie by the last picture and it was actually Chloe. There's a standard, there's a standard. And so in whatever you're doing and however you're building your business and your brand and your persona, yourself, how you see yourself, your value, because we're talking about this, 14 days of radical self-love. And I know I come in contact with a lot of women who struggle with feeling, how can I be valuable? How can I feel worthy? when you've got these Instagram girls who are just flawless, right? Perfectly made up in every single way. Their skin is flawless. You can't see the bags under their eyes, honey. Yeah, <laughs> flawless, perfect and flawless, right? How do you, as a millennial or, or not a millennial, how do you find your way in that sea of perfection? And what I wanna tell you, more than anything else is fuck perfection. That is my message for today. You know why? Because it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Um, these women go through things just like we do every single day. Just think about what you know about what's happened in their lives. Think about what you know is happening in the lives of the people around you that you feel are perfect. They have real issues. They have real things that they deal with every single day, just like you do. And so I don't want people to, I don't want my girls, especially to get stuck in that idea that you have to be perfect, that you have to look perfect, that you've got to have the perfect setup for your business, that you got to, you know, have the perfect graphics, that you have to have the perfect background and lighting or makeup or um, anything else to get you moving into what it is that you were meant to do. See, this challenge isn't just about, it's about not putting on this armor of what so many people do. Um, and I see it all the time, and even in the comments, as people come through and they, they comment, I often wonder, like when people stop and they drop advice on top of my advice, sometimes I wonder, what is that person dealing with? What are they dealt with? Do they really mean that? Do they, have they really found themselves yet? Have they been through so many things that they have been able to connect with the true them? Or are they just commenting? Are they just posting? I wonder, I wonder these things because I think that's what counts in the world. Um, and sometimes I can tell too when it's just a, you know, I don't want to discourage people from, from commenting. I want you to comment engagement honey okay <laughs> and I want to engage with you I want to I often will go and see people's pages and um and like and sometimes even comment in their stuff too when I've gone through but I often wonder with the vast majority are they really connecting to the person that they are or are they just coming on and commenting maybe to be seen or uh, maybe to get a shout out or I just I want to encourage this year and every year after this one that you're really digging in and, and, and making the commitment to yourself to, to dig deeper, 
you know, we're doing the 14 days of radical self-love challenge. It starts just a couple days, depending on when you watch. Um, and one of the things that I've committed to is I'm actually going to do this challenge with my boys. And the reason is um, one's 14, one just turned 17, Mello will be 15 later this year. But the reason is because I think it's so important that, in, that as early as possible in your life, you know who you are. I believe I've always known who I am. I don't feel like I've always been allowed to be who I am um, just because of what my mommy knew and, and, and her, you know, wanting to do the best that she knew how. And she did. And I think with every generation, we learn a little bit more, we get a little bit deeper, we get a little bit um, more knowledgeable about things and looking at, and, and have different ways of looking at life. And so for them, I want them to always, because I feel like they don't belong to me. I, as much as I worship the ground they walk on, I adore them. They're not mine. Um, my grandma's a Black Hawk Indian. She grew up on the Indian, Indian reservation. And one of the things that was a common belief is that, you know, we get to guide this spirit and help them to um, navigate into what they were supposed to be, their greatest self. And so many times I feel like I, um, I wasn't allowed to be my normal self. I wasn't allowed to be open, even though I'm sure my mommy would say different. <laughs> I was being what she wanted me to be, right? And so I never want my boys to feel like they have to be someone because of me. Yes, I have hopes. Yes, I have dreams. Yes, I have standards. But at the end of the day, those are to guide them into becoming their best self, the best version of who they believe they should be in the world. You know, and I think it's a fine line between like just letting them do whatever. That's not what I'm saying because that's not happening. <laughs> There's a fine line between just letting them do whatever and be like lazy or just sit around and do nothing or have no goals. No, you, you got to have goals, but you get to choose what those are. And it doesn't include sleeping all day and eating all day. <laughs> Seriously, um, as long as there's a goal in mind and you're on that path. And so that's why I am having them do this as well. I might even have them come on. That might be fun. Oh gosh, that could be disastrous. Those two. <laughs> it would be joke central. No one would learn anything. And people would be like, Tori, you and your boys are nuts. We are. <laughs> um, but it would be a great show, let me tell you. But no, uh, beyond that, I really think that it's important for for them to look at themselves at every stage of their life and develop self-awareness and really dig deep and see, hey, what is it that I wanna do? Who is it that I want to become? What mark do I wanna leave? And so those are things that I'm gonna have them doing along with us in this challenge. So if you know anyone, uh, a friend, maybe your kids, maybe your relatives, cousins, aunt, nieces, uncles, aunt, grandparents who might need to, you know, form that connection and who they are before at the end. You know what I mean? Seriously, um, whoever you might know that should dig a little deeper and for the sake of them becoming their best self, not even a point of judgment, but just because you believe so much in them and you want so much for them to have all great things and to do all great things invite them to join you in the 14 day challenge. We'll be starting in just a couple of days. Like I said, um, definitely interact, engage with us. Go to my Instagram, drop me a comment. Let me know you saw this video. Let me know if it impacted you in any way. Let me know if you think I'm completely nuts, you know? <laughs> um, but you should be able to, wherever this video is, just click below the link to get in. It is a, um, a free intro challenge um, that will go into a full paid product. Uh, once we're done with everything that we're going to do for this, there'll be some video, uh, there'll be some meditations added into the Socialite private members group. Like, it's going to be a full package, but definitely this 14 days should be completely epic and revealing to you so that you can decide what the success look like to you and how can you create a plan to get there. As always, it's my goal to bring you value because I want to see you win. I want to see you live your best life, whatever that looks like for you in the best possible way of you bringing the greatness that you were intended to bring into the world. Unleash it.
let it out. You are the only person holding you back from your epic life. I'm a firm believer in that. It's so funny, when I stopped blaming other people for um, the things that have happened in my life, some that I've shared and some that I've not, when I stopped blaming other people and looked at it as, what can I take away? How can I now be different? How can I do something different? What choices did I make? Just so many different levels of my life and so many different scenarios and situations that I can look back on, as I'm sure you can, and think what you could have done differently. And when you look at life that way, that you have control, it takes the control of your life away from other people. So my partner, she's um, in this product, she's going to be bringing you some of those tools to, to self-guide and to, to, to feed into yourself. Um, and I'm gonna give you the tools to set up the life that you have been hoping for and wanting and get you on that path to living it. All right, that's it. Have a wonderful rest of your day or evening or wherever you are in the world. Keep hustling, girls. Bye.